Welcome to Notion Expert Tips and Tricks. Today's tip is all about forcing functions in Notion or how to assign default property values to new database entries. Maybe you found yourself in the position that you want a date to have a default value, but realize that Notion doesn't support that. Or maybe you have a few different views and you want new entries to get different default values depending on where you add things. Forcing functions in Notion is the answer to all of this. Let's dig in. So I've created a little page here where we can try out our forcing functions. We first create a database. We'll create an inline database this time and call it test of forcing functions. We'll create three entries, entry one, two and three. The tags will leave as is and then we'll add a date property, which is one of the more interesting things for this, I think, as well as a number property to demonstrate this. All right, we have our name and three properties. So let's try adding a new one. We'll add entry four. And as you can see, everything is just left blank. What do I do if I want to have a default tag for everything? I could, of course, create a new database template, but there is a much quicker way to do this. It's not super intuitive, but it works really well once you know it. We'll add a few tags. Very intuitive this. Let's, uh, let's see if we can make these match so it makes a little bit more sense. Okay, so now we have a few different tags. We can add tags to all of these and yellow. And now if we want to add the tag red to everything new that we add, we add a filter and we say that we want it to contain the tag red. Now, when I create a new value here, entry five, it actually gets the red due to the forcing filter we've added here. So the view we're looking at only shows entries that have the tag red attached, meaning that new entries by definition must have this tag as well. The same can be done with date instead. So let's remove this, add a new filter. We say date is, we could select anything here. Let's filter for where the date is New Year's Eve. So we have a filter here active, January 1st. No rows matches that. If I add a new row, you can see that the date automatically becomes January 1st. So we call this date entry. We can do a similar thing and we can say simply that date is not empty. Then it filters out this one. And the special thing here is that then we get a today entry. So Notion guesses that we want today's date and that's actually really powerful. For number, it works in a similar fashion. We can remove the date filter. We add a new filter. We filter on number instead. Let's say that we want it to be more than a hundred. We have no values fulfilling that. We create a new one, more than 100. And as you can see, number default to 201. So Notion will guess a value based on the forcing filter we have active. Removing the filter, we of course get back all of our entries. And we can see that when we had red as the forcing function, as a tag, we got that. When we had a specific date as a filter, we got that. When we had a set as a filter for the date, it guesses today. And when we set a numeric filter, we will get that. So this is a super helpful tip if you want to auto create or auto set values. The last quick thing that you can do with this is that you can have different filters for different views. So here we have a table view of the test of the forcing functions database. Let's add a filter here. So we say that we want tags to be red. When we create a new one, we see that we get red. That's exactly as it was before. 
Now we'll create a new table view. We'll point to the test of forcing functions database. We say we want a new empty view. We're happy with this. In this one, we create a new filter and we say that we want to filter for tags and only show yellow ones. So now we're looking at the same database, but with different forcing functions. So if I create a second red here, it shows up here. If I add the yellow tag as well, it shows up down here as well. If I now create a yellow here, it will be forced to have the yellow filter. And if I add red, it shows up here. So new, new entries, entries will be red in this view. New entries will be yellow in this view. Just a quick tip. I hope you have fun with this. Thank you very much for joining and see you next time. Have a nice day.